Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is another sunscreen review. We are reviewing the Make Prim Airy Light Physical Sun Stick formulated with zinc oxide, SPF 50, PA++++. Actually, the name keeps going on. It is the UV Defense Me Calming Sun Stick, a very long name. Let's see if it's a good sunscreen. Of course, this video is a continuation of my six days of sunscreen series playlist linked for you right there. Also, these products were kindly gifted by Stylevana, and I have a discount code for you if you would like to get a discount on your purchase. This one is, again, another really exciting one for me. Make Prim has been a favorite brand for me for a long time, even though we've had some hits and misses, I've overall really enjoyed the brand, and today we're going to see if this sun stick works out just as well. I feel like I haven't seen a, a zinc oxide sunscreen stick before, so I'm really excited about this. This could be a really excellent choice for sensitive skin types. Now let's see, can you see a white cast forming as I apply this on this half of my face? I actually, I don't, although I certainly do see the shine. But I think before I talk about the ingredients with this, I actually want to take a, a quick moment in today's video to say a thank you to the company Stylevana. In case you're stumbling upon this channel, you may not actually know why Stylevana sent me these sunscreens to test, but I will tell you the backstory. So not too long ago, they had sent me a bunch of products that included the uh, new Make Prim Tone Up sunscreen. And oh, oh, I did not like it. I did not like it at all. I will link you that video if you want to very clearly see why I didn't like that sunscreen. But you know, I said in that video, I felt bad saying that I didn't like it, but I also felt like, you know, I have a responsibility to be honest in my skincare reviews. Because I've been making YouTube videos for a little while, I can tell you something. It is a, it, it's a, an uncomfortable feeling to post a video like that because even though on one hand you're doing the right thing, on the other you do feel bad because you know that a company spent money to send you a product and you've got to say, I, I don't recommend this. For the record, I've absolutely had companies get uh, quite upset quite upset about things like this. So, you know, I didn't really know what was going to happen with Stylevana, but they were really, really awesome about it. And that's when they reached out and said, hey, you know, we totally understand. Can we send you a bunch of sunscreens and you can find some that do work out for you? It means a lot to me to see companies be, you know, accepting towards an unfavorable review because to me that means that uh, they understand how important skincare is and finding the right products for you. All right, so I'm going to run my fingers across it and make sure that I'm getting it around my eye area. Let me push this up a little bit more. I still do have my concerns with sunscreen sticks, although I will say, uh, you know, with this being SPF 50 plus, it is hard to know if it's actually a higher SPF. Um, Korea can't have SPF 100 products. We can in the US. They do not. It goes to SPF 50, and then you can put the plus after that to suggest that it's actually higher than an SPF of 50. So, you know, I do think that's possibly part of the reason why you might be able to use a sunscreen stick and still get adequate sun protection. Okay, you know what I'm loving about this? It is extremely easy to apply around my eyes, and usually I don't experience any kind of eye irritation with mineral sunscreens. Also, this is absolutely less greasy feeling than the Eccentry, so I think I'm most likely going to rank this one higher. We'll see. We'll see. And I think we'll also put on a little bit of makeup today. I'm probably just going to do really light makeup. I don't have a ton to do today, although I do have to go pick up some more boxes. We underestimated the amount of stuff that we have, so I got to go grab some more boxes. Y'all, I was calling around and I, I realized something. If you want to just get free boxes, call your local mom and pop stores because places like Target and Walmart are so funny about it. It's weird, right? I'm calling to see if you have any boxes from deliveries that you're not going to use. Can I give them an extra bit of life, you know, for the sake of the planet? Mm, Target and Walmart, mm -mm, they're going to say no to you, but your little local grocery store will say yes. 
So let me give you some info on this sunscreen. So again, I did have to run this through the translator. So it says hypoallergenic sunscreen with a primer function that makes the skin smooth. So again, of course, we will put some makeup on and see if this is a good primer also. Zinc mineral that blocks UV rays, even for sensitive skin. Know that the translator isn't perfect here, but you can still get an idea of what's going on here. So 100% zinc oxide, which blocks both UVA and UVB. Great for outdoor activities, clinically proven, effective UV protection. Oh my goodness, they actually tell you the exact ratings on here. So there's the answer that I was just talking about. So UVB, 56.5 plus or minus 10, and UVA blocking factor, 21.51 plus or minus 2.42. It is a product with soft, fresh fragrance with natural ingredients, not artificial fragrance. Again, this is another product where the word fragrance doesn't appear, but of course we have some ingredients contributing to the scent. And to look at the ingredients list here, so we do have quite a few stabilizers in here and quite a few plant extracts. We have rosemary leaf extract, not the oil, but the extract that does make a difference for some people. That is why I emphasize that. Black currant seed oil, pear, peach, and melon. We have some jasmine flower water in here. Oh, I haven't smelled it yet. I guess there's a very, very faint floral scent, but realistically, I'm having to force myself to smell it. I just, I don't smell anything with it. Sadly, Ara is not home today, so I can't have her smell it, but I, I can if any of you want uh, a, a a thorough sniff test. And I will come back in a little bit. You'll see some foundation on me next time that you see me and we will do a reapplication over makeup. I'm back for our sunscreen reapplication here. So I did want to really quickly comment on the pilling situation with this particular sunscreen. I did experience some pilling when I put foundation on over this and obviously I'm sure you can tell this is a a very light foundation that I applied today. It's the Merit Stick, if you're curious. I know I said earlier when I applied this that there were characteristics of this that I preferred over the Eccentry Stick, but I'm also gonna tell you honestly, the Eccentry glides on so much more. Can you see how much I'm kind of pulling my face trying to reapply this? And you definitely can tell that I'm applying, oh, Oh, it's really taking off the foundation, which was doing such a good job of covering that pimple that uh, woke up in beast mode today. But you know, again, to talk about the strengths of this product, and by the way, I do have some um, liquid eyeshadow on right now. I will say, I absolutely love this around my eyes. No irritation, so quick and easy to apply. To a level where I would say if you're experiencing issues finding a good sunscreen around your eyes, this actually might be worth it. In spite of it having a high price per ounce, if you're only using it in your eye area, yeah, I can absolutely see this being a very good solution. I'm tapping this into my skin just in case I missed any places. Oh, you can kind of see a little bit of pilling here. Yeah, strangely enough, I know they, they said that this one, see that pilling? They said that this one is a primer, but I feel like the original Make Prim that we tried on Monday was much more appropriate as a primer. Y'all, this feels heavy on my skin. Ooh, I don't know, y'all. I really, uh, I don't know. I'm getting the pilling again right now. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure I'm going to rank this too well. I'm really not sure. But again, I love it around my eyes, so stay tuned. I'll give y'all some final thoughts very soon. And we are back for the final ranking of the Make Prim UV Defense Me Calming Sun Stick. Y'all know the ranking system by now, so let's put it up on the screen and chat about this. And I'll kind of probably talk a little bit more about comparisons to the Eccentry Stick, since we have two stick foundations in this six days of sunscreen. Okay, so let's just get price out of the way. Let's get it over with no games here. The retail price that Stylevana has listed for this is $27 for 0.7 ounces. It is currently on sale and hopefully it stays on sale, but if we are going by the supposed retail value, this comes out to be, brace yourselves, $38.50 an ounce. 
which makes this by far the most expensive sunscreen in this entire series. More expensive than some of my other very expensive favorites. The Dr. Dennis Gross was only at 25 an ounce. So it's pretty expensive. We're going to give it two stars because there are still some brands out there charging, you know, $100 an ounce. Was it Hourglass? I think it was Hourglass. For ingredients, four out of five stars. This is actually a much shorter ingredients list than I'm used to with Make Prim products. Uh, it's just another allergy warning, that's all. Otherwise, I do think it's a great formula. For smell, I'm going to give it a five. Very, very faint floral smell. I actually like the way that Make Prim has been doing the scents in these. Application, I'm going to deduct one star because I did notice that it tugged a lot on my skin, especially in comparison to the Eason Tree stick. When I was using that stick the other day, I didn't realize how spoiled I was as it was just gliding across my skin until I used this one and kind of had to tug a bit. But again, that one does use chemical filters. This is an all physical filter sunscreen so this could still win out for some people and I'm not going to say you know it was horrible just definitely something I noticed in the comparison. White cast 5 out of 5 this was absolutely fine did not have a severe white cast although you, you actually could see it in the beginning of the video. I am going to give it a 4 out of 5 on wear because of the pilling issues. Not only did it pill with makeup but it was pilling especially on my neck through the day I was kind of picking out little little bits of it. And for removal, five out of five. No issues whatsoever with removing this. Now all of that comes together for a B rating, kind of a B minus rating. I think we have an 83 on the test here, which does mean that this is actually gonna drop to the bottom. It's interesting though, I was really thinking about how the star ranking system says so much more than if I don't do that. You know, if I was just to come on camera, what I would say about this is it's probably not going to be a favorite for me, but it may have this real specific use. And I feel like that could sound a lot more negative than actually showing you a B rating. I think it's just that it's more thorough to do the star ranking system. But yeah, I am going to have to say it's coming in last place for me, at least so far. We'll see what happens tomorrow. We've got one more day left, y'all, and then this little series is over. The final sunscreen we will be testing is the Thank You Farmer Sun Project Light Sun Essence. So tune in tomorrow for that review and a final ranking. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And do have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you all next time.